Hi guys, Dogo here with a new video and this video will be a update video for 11.0.7 which has been announced for a specific date. I'm going to reveal it right now. So for the people that just wanted to get the, uh, the date at least uh, known, it is December the 17th. So it is two weeks from now, pretty much like 13 days from now which is the Siren Isles update. What will you get from the update? A new zone, hooray, Winter Veil updates, who cares, catch up gear, who cares, everyone is already like fully geared like by now. Uh, Plunderstorm, January 14th, it is what it is. Um, it means that it will be two months of 11.7 until we have uh, the 11.1 .1, which is probably for February maybe March which would be very terrible and more now as you may hear in my voice and my tone I'm actually not excited about uh, this patch uh, I feel like it doesn't do anything to uh, towards us PVPers it does nothing towards the problems that we have with the war within which is really crazy it's a paradox to me to be fair the more i talk about it, the more i feel like it's weird on why i do feel like it is not going well because everything that i can say about the war within gameplay wise has been positive but as you may know gameplay is not everything on a mmorpg i think if i played only for gameplay i would not be playing world of warcraft that's probably a given um so what do we get we get the sirenals which is going to arrive seven, the december 17th a new zone special assignment which is a event uh, excavations cir circlet and new rewards again pve 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 Plunderstorm, which is PvP, which is more my thing, but I think it being a time, like time-based game mode, which is only one month, really sucks. Uh, I think they like Blizzard has literally Call of Duty in their, like it's it's Activision Blizzard, right? They know how it works. Like you cannot really sell purely um, time-based game modes and say who this is content like this is literally temporary but it is welcome but i am not that excited about blunderstorm i think a battle royale is a fantastic idea for pvp but this is not the way for me i think it is kind of silly how it plays out I, I would prefer if it was literally with our characters where I, I will loot gear on the ground and maybe unlock my abilities for example so I can have a full bar of abilities it would be maybe fun but uh, I think this is like really a mini game in a mini game in a mini game and that is already very frustrating to me as a pvper where you do get this instead of like any solutions to a soul shuffle, soul QRBGs, 2v2, 3v3, anything. It kind of sucks to me. Um, now, I'm going to say there is a few things that are good towards the patch, which is the racial ability updates. It's always going to be good to have races being a bit more viable. Uh, a bit more widespread although i think shadow melt is still number one and number two closely i think like horde sided is orc you have also undead uh, you have also dark iron dwarf and dwarf and to a certain extent pandaren or culturist depending on if your need is done or an uh, incap it's all good but I think it will be always overshadowed by uh, those races. Uh, and then alt catch up gear. I personally don't care. I think like PvP wise, gearing has been so easy that it doesn't really matter how much catch up you give. 
Um, I think that's maybe part of the problem. Like a you think you do, but you don't situation. Uh, rebound increases. Who cares? I, I mean, PvP wise, right? Who cares? And Winter Veil vale updates. Who cares? Again. Uh, why am I not excited about this patch? Well, they do not talk about Soul Q, like Soul Shuffle or Soul Q RPG. Uh, they do not talk about rewards for 2v2, 3v3. Um, every single bracket is kind of dead right now. Um, you just need to look up on Twitch and everyone and their mother is playing Classic. Like if it's as hardcore or the normal one. And I'm saying that I am also playing classic and I'm enjoying my time a lot more than what I would have on retail. I don't want to make like a circle jerk video about retail, like why I'm not having fun on it. But I think it's the same for everyone. I don't like sitting in queues. I don't like that my time is not valuable. I don't like to have a game mode where you can literally draw which really, really sucks. I think drawing is so dumb. And I am a, I'm from EU, right? In soccer or football, depending on who you are, where you are, for me it's football, uh, you can draw. But drawing is literally like so uneventful. It's not fun. It's, it has never been fun. It's only good or a relief whenever you're whenever you're losing but if you're winning and you get drawn drawn it is or you drew excuse me it it, it is it is really painful it look it feels like a loss and it's the same for soul shuffle i think soul shuffle should never have a situation where you can do 3-3 three, three, have no mmr gains and no mmr losses i think someone like, it should be team versus team. At this point, I think the experiment of Soul Shuffle kind of sucks now. I understand that some people like the aspect of I'm not really screwed because of a team comp. Because obviously, if you're playing Rogue, if you get double Rogue team, for example, it kind of sucks if it's only like a one-off round or whatever. But it really, really sucks in the format of if you want to have a, a good MMR game. Uh, you have literally six players that are all vastly different MMR and they could try to like narrow it down, but that makes for longer queues. You have four DPSers which are like in their separate MMR pool and then you have a 1v1 which is a true aspect of MMR, a healer versus healer matchup. And guess what? The healer versus healer matchup to get faster queues, you will have some disparities, discrepancies on MMR, which sometimes will make the healer go 4-2 and gain no MMR. So it's really, really sucky. But also, you are most likely going to draw because you have four other players in your, in your lobby, which are all likely to lose. So they could all go 0-6, like one of them, all of the four, are likely to have only like one zero six DPSer because it is just what it is. You have a bigger odds at that, and that will make the priest or um, the double healer go draw. And if it's a draw, it sucks for both healers because sometimes you lose MMR because of it. Because again, they cannot really make a zero sum um, matchmaking without uh, compensating the bigger MMRs uh, from the lobby. So if I have a bigger MMR than you and I draw with you, I will lose MMR because the system would uh, think that I should be winning. So it kind of sucks. So you have a soul shuffle, which again, the healers can draw, the DPSers can draw because obviously a healer could also get diffed. So it could also be a 6-0 for a healer and everyone draws. Like you have four, four DPSers drawing, which is really sucky as well. Um, you could also have a situation where um, there is like one clear winner DPS wise, like a 6-0 and then it's like the you have at least um, one big MMR gain which is a 6-0, you have three losers which are the uh, two fours, so whenever your DPS is going 6-0 it means that the other DPSers are going 2-4, so you have three losers and also two other losers which are drawing. So there are no real good situations and i could even write it down i don't know how i could do it 
uh, give me a second. So I am on a Excel sheet. Uh, I think it's the easiest way to to um, to show you guys. But literally, you have a few situations that are like all sucky, and you have the DPS going 6-0. So it means that you have three DPS with MMR loss and two healers going draw. So it means that you only have one happy guy in the lobby, which again, it's a six player lobby. It really sucks for the five other players, three players losing MMR and two healers drawing, which may as well say one healer actually loses MMR from it. So it's a very bad situation you have also the healer when 6-0 what happens you have one healer going 606 so that's very terrible for that for them and then you have four dpsers going 3-3 and you know what is the problem for dpsers going 3-3 long queues so you have a 20 minute queue for example to just literally draw and have no mmr gains so that's also a loss for them, literally in time, like it's a ton of time waste. The only thing that is good whenever you're going to do 3-3 is, for example, you have 2.3 MMR as a DPS and you have 1k CR. You will just gain 400 CR based on a 3-3 without having MMR loss. So that's a good thing for you because you're gaining some mileage into your CR without affecting the MMR. It's like basically a free game for you but for the people that have same mmr same cr it is a draw which is going to move nothing towards the mmr or cr from those players a very bad one as well then you have also a dps going 06 guess what you have three dpsers going 42 so they are like the happy happy guys and then you have two healers drawing this is probably the best scenario for most players because you have three players having the best out of that lobby, two players which are like kind of losing their time, which are the two healers, and eventually losing MMR depending on the lobby. And you have one big loser, which is the DPSer. It's not the same as this one, because obviously this one, you have basically the uh, healer getting 6-0 and the other healing getting 0-0-6 which is kind of sucky for the healer but then you have like 40 pieces losing their time most most likely but it's not that great because you don't gain anything only one big winner which is the healer but here you have three big winners two drawing blood players and then one big loser and i could go on and on basically to go back to this I think Soul Shuffle should change format. I think it should be a literally 3v3. It should be on the same pool of players of the 3v3 bracket. I know some people will hate that, but I think it is the way to go if you want to have fast queues for anyone and everyone. For healers, for DPSers, for people that want to play trees, for people that want to play duos in trees, you can also do that as well. Because then, what makes it possible whenever you can solo queue 3v3 it means that you can also duo queue in 3v3 so if you're a healer and you say look i actually don't want to play solo queue as a healer because i want to have at least one dps -er that i know boom you invite your dps and you can actually play 3v3 with your duo queue or if you're like double dpsers and you don't have any healer at your disposal you can at least queue for 3v3 if you want it because you will then paired, be paired with a healer friend eventually in that lobby. And the system should be saying like, look, it's a team of three players versus you. It, you should be also a team of three players. So if you're queuing as three, you should be facing another team that is queuing as three. It should be three versus three. If you are queuing as a duo queue, the system should also pair you with another duo queue in front of you, a duo queue DPS healer or a duo queue DPS DPS. It doesn't matter, but it will be a duo queue versus a duo queue with one solo queue versus one solo queue. So it will be 3v3, the same communication between those teams. 
or if you're a solo queue player, you can end up with a duo queue or you can end up with a full on solo queue team versus another solo queue team. That will make again a dynamic change where people can queue whenever they want without feeling like you're losing on potential uh, discrepancy on communication, for example. So a team of three will not face a team of solo queue players because then that would be a wash. And then you're going to say, but uh, you're not choosing your comp and it doesn't shuffle and it's only one round, like you could lose on a whim. Now, that's where I come in with a idea which has not been discussed, but it could be a BO3 or a BO5, I don't care. It could be a best of three uh, match between your team versus the other team. So it means that you can win twice and then you're gone, you're getting the MMR. You could also lose um you could also like win one lose one win one then it's a less of a big jump on mmr but again if you win two in a row you get the bigger jump if you get like one win one loss one win you get an even bigger like you get a mini jump and if you're losing two in a row obviously you're going to lose more mmr and then you have like a, t a possibility to come back in those games so if you're losing one you could say look maybe we could uh, handle this way because we lost that round for some reason because of this now let's adapt and then you're adapting and you might just win and it will change maps it will change you could also make it like like that it changes maps that could be also fun or you can choose a map again there's a lot of solutions towards those problems and it could be even a bo5 for all i care but the matches will be faster than a soul shuffle it will be again possible to not blame the enemy team or the enemy healer or whatever because obviously you're playing with the same guys so you will not be able to be toxic or like feeling like you get screwed by someone that played way better versus you than with you and that can happen like for example how, how many times does it happen that the healer doesn't press any cds or you don't press any cds and next round, you, the healer presses CDs and the, the other DPS also presses these CDs and you feel like you you got a loss for free. That will not happen in that format. That would be a fantastic format. The same for 2v2. They could also do a solo QB based on that as well. And get on with Soul Shuffle and make the rewards for 2v2 and 3v3 with Soul Q integrated. And I know some people are going to say, but... It's not going to be uh, 3v3 or 2v2 anymore. You're going to contaminate with solo queue players. But that's the way to go for World of Warcraft PvP to get a lot more players onto the um, genre, but also the, the queue times to be lower. It should be something like that. I think that's the way to go from now on. I think Soul Shuffle has been a fantastic thing. I think also the format should have been something good. Uh, I think the idea is very good and the execution is subpar, I think. Uh, yes, you do not have like some sort of a bad luck lobby because again, if you like double rogue versus like, let's say a, a TSG and it's like BO3 like that, the double rogue will have a lot less of a good time to win. That's obvious. But again... Um, sometimes if you're a warrior and you end up in a castle lobby, no matter what, it's also a bad lobby for you. Uh, so there is no real like unique non -pro like protection for that. Like there is a protection uh, because you could end up with anyone, but you could also lose like three lobbies in a row because it is like three castle lobbies as a warrior. So that could also happen. So it's not like a foolproof thing, soul shuffle, and I think. That's the way to go for queues, queue times. Um, I think I cannot really enjoy the next patch as well. I'm, I, I think I'm not going to play the next patch, to be fair. There is no balancing already on the PTR, and it's only two weeks out. In two weeks, it's out, and there is no balancing, no reworks, no pro, like no trying to fix hero towns for specs and classes. There is nothing on the PTR right now, nothing, except ratios which is fine, but still, I think no balancing kind of sucks, no addressing of the problems with Soul Shuffle and Soul QRBGs. Uh, I think in general, it, it feels like a dead patch to me. It feels really lazy. This really feels like a lazy patch. Like, Plunderstorm is not a season one thing. I'm sorry, it was literally 
something made up because we had like a huge gap between the new expansion and Dragonfly. They put out Blunderstorm, which has been popular, but it's like, again, it's something for a end of expansion kind of thing. And we get it from season one. And it feels like the War Within is a expansion that should have been like done in two months. That's how it feels. It feels like we have seen everything that we should have seen in the War Within. It feels like PvP will only go down from now where a new expansion would breathe more life into it because people would have more expectations towards changes to towards pvp but it feels like right now there are no rewards the rewards are too hard for most people to get um there is no like participation reward either again i don't, I don't like participation rewards in general but a battle pass is maybe the lowest like the fastest entry into a, a participation air, uh, reward where you do participate like the more you participate in pvp the more likely you're going to get the best rewards out of the battle pass it should have been something like that but they didn't do it and they still are not pulling the trigger for some reason the same for pve and again i tried mythic plus and i wanted to make videos about it but the, the thing is if pvp is a meta slave kind of thing I think PvE is even worse, man. I think if you're like playing a spec that is like terrible, not terrible, but like subpar in PvE, they will not invite you. They want to play God Comp every single time. They want to play the best out of the best. And I'm saying that I am an Enhancement Shaman. And I know a PvE Enhancement Shaman is probably the best uh, currently. Um, I I think it's it's... Like, PV ha has also problems. Like, they don't have a solo queue. You still have to use LFG uh, extensively, like, even worse than 3v3 or 2v2. It's, again, they, they expect you from, like, to get into a guild. But it's actually complicated to find a good guild. Um, like, it's so weird. But it's, like, I, find, I found it very hard to find a good guild. Uh, so, PvE was a disaster to me, uh, coming from PvP. Uh, and PvP is a disaster to me right now because it feels like there is nothing going on. Like there is nothing that they are going to change to make it better. Um, it feels also like gearing has been the easiest ever. Like ever. Like f no matter what version of the game you're talking, the PvP gearing has been the easiest right now. Yes, there is Legion with the templates, but templates sucked. So I don't like it. Except if you can choose your templates, then we can talk about it. But they, we couldn't choose the template. Like, a class played a certain specific way and didn't like it. And I do feel like um, the gearing, although it's not a problem right now, um, is a problem for me. I think most people are, like, kind of chasing gear because it is, like, MMO after all. And it does feel like that. But once you have your gear and you seem to uh, stagnate, or you seem to see queue times to be longer, why bother, you know? Well, if you have gear to be farmed, you will try to farm the gear because, again, your character is not complete. But once your character is complete, once you have gemmed out, once you have everything, what is, like, the to chase? And yes, you can say, just play for fun, but the issue is retail is fun to a certain extent like i think sitting in queues is not fun and the gameplays may be fun but sitting in a queue is not fun they augmented the queues for solo queue rbgs because they like again changed the algorithm between like the compositions which is fine although it was not really good to like augment the times into queues because that was the huge usp from solo queue rbgs it started out with a four minute like queue time not even insta pop sometimes as dps and then they changed something and it made literally for 40 minute queues uh, 15 minute queues 20 minute queues and even worse if you have like soul shuffle into it like it's it's like literally a queue simulator and i really despise it I already made a video about it made multiple videos about it in dragon flight i thought it was over in the war within but it came back again i don't feel like sitting in a queue 
even whenever I have a second account, I could literally queue up and play classic, but I don't want to bother with it, man. I don't want to feel like I'm uh, cold with my hands, whenever I'm sit like sitting in those queues, getting into a soul shuffle and feel like I'm not warmed up. It kind of sucks to me, man. I don't like it. It doesn't feel good. And right now, classic feels way better, way more good to play, although it's like the same version that some people despise or don't like because the gameplay is very slow and it is true i'm playing shadow priest and it is nowhere to be compared with retail i think retail is way more fun shadow priest but i have more fun than classic so how can you describe it how can you explain well mmrpgs pvp is not only about gameplay it's about getting to play the game first but also systems and and socials and bragging rights and fun and i think right now the world within may be the best expansion ever gameplay wise but system wise it, it feels like i'm more sitting in Dornogal waiting for a queue to pop than actually play and i don't think it is actually valuable time to be spent in my opinion yes you can multitask yes you can work while you're doing that that's all fine but if i'm on a video game it is to actually play the video game it is not to sit a queue and do other stuff until the queue pops like imagine if you had a queue for league of legends like a 15 minute queue imagine if you had like a 15 minute queue to call of duty everyone would be saying that it's a dead game that's the normal thing to say like literally if you if you pop up black ops 6 and you do a death match and you get a 60 like a 15 minute queue or 20 minute queue you would kind of tell yourself like this is bugged it can't be and it is not bugged right now it is just like the mmr is too harsh the mmr games are really bad healers don't want to play I tried to play healer. I think I played most of my, of my rounds on Soul Shuffle as a healer. I played, I think, 70% or 80% of my time as a healer in Soul Shuffle, which kind of sucks because I'm a DPSer, so I didn't really enjoy my time as well. I got to Duelist, and then I stopped because why bother going higher? Because it's only bragging rights at that point. Like, getting Elite doesn't bring me anything and legend doesn't bring me anything i'm not playing 3v3 because i don't have like a battle net uh, accounts farmed so i don't bother with it as well 2v2 the same i like 2v2 but the meta was not that good and you, ho you don't have rewards so why bother and the same for solo qrbg i don't bother getting higher because the q times are very high and the mmr games and cr games are very slow and steady yes you can climb by just playing but it's really slow it feels like a slog and that's the issue. I think there's a few, there's a lot of issues in, in general that kind of gets explained by just playing the game and you will just see. Uh, and I do not accept anymore to sit in queues like that. And I understand that some people may still do that and that's fine. Uh, but you just need to take a look to Twitch or YouTube on World of Warcraft. And I think if the game was really, really more responsive on queue, without the queues it would not be that way i think classic would not be what it is right now if retail didn't fail on that aspect and that's the same for pve as well mythic plus is a sh like uh, i tried i really tried but i i think it's more of a meta thing like it's it's ridiculous how just statistics enhancement challenge is just better than anything like anything else it doesn't matter how good you are or not. Enhancement Shaman is the better one. You cannot overtake it. While in PvP, you can outsmart players because, again, it's a player versus player mode. In PvE, there's nothing to outsmart. It is literally PvE. Uh, so if a class is that much better than another, you why bother take something else? So that's kind of how I feel. Like It's more of a bring the class on the player kind of thing right now. To me, that's how it seems. Um... So yeah, uh, hopefully you're excited for this patch. I'm not, I'm playing classic. I'm very excited about classic. Uh, my second channel, again, I do make, I make a lot of videos about classic and um, I wish it was more about retail, but I, I cannot force myself 
to play this version and not uh, feel like uh, I'm losing my time in queues. It's not okay for me. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.